Nice work. I have a few top things for you to try on your new Echo. This is the fifth generation Echo Dot. It is all new. It has been updated with better sound. We're going to be unboxing it and then we're going to compare it to the fourth generation Echo Dot. This is going to be the unboxing of the new Echo Dot. And here it is. That is everything inside the box. That's everything inside the box. So the fourth gen Echo Dot does not have a huge difference in terms of its interface or its layout in terms of what you can do with it. It even shows tap gestures. So this is the alarm. But no accelerometer. Chargers are identical, by the way. Your device is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. So these speakers come out in multiple colors. We have the gray, we have the blue, I know it comes out in white, and it also comes out in charcoal. Best way to know, is this an improvement, is to listen to what it sounds like. So let's check out, how does the Echo Dot 5th generation sound? And that's as simple as just playing some music with it. So I'm just gonna be connecting to my Echo. So the speaker in your 5th generation new Echo Dot is now gonna be 1.73 inches, which is an improvement over 1.6 inches on your previous model. Amazon says that this has 50% better bass. I'm gonna let you decide that on your own. Now connected to Bluetooth. Just so everyone knows, I have a directional mic that's about uh, two, maybe two and a half feet from this Echo Dot. Our volume is at about 70%. We don't have the bass, we don't have the treble or the mid-range adjusted here, but we're gonna do that for you. So the volume can get pretty loud. Drop everything to the, the lowest setting. with the temperature sensor now. So the temperature sensor is particularly interesting because if you have a Alexa smart skill app, which is gonna be something like the V-Sync app for Lavoie, or anything that uses temperature that can be synced inside, hypothetically, and uh, this is still a work in progress, this, because you know the temperature in the room, can automatically turn on or off devices depending on the temperature. So let's say the, the room is too hot and you have a smart Wi-Fi AC, it could hypothetically turn that one on, or same thing with your fans. You can also drop in and call your Echo. That just means you're calling. Something else you can do now inside of the app, you can also connect it so you can connect up to two speakers and a subwoofer so you can have like a surround sound system. It also gives you tap gesture, so if you want to adjust what the tap gesture does, well you can change that. Right now it is meant to be pause and resume media and to stop the alarm have the ultrasound motion detection. So this can detect motion using ultrasound. So when enabled, your device will detect motion using ultrasound technology. Ultrasound will only be emitted when you turn on features that use it. Let's walk you through what the, uh, what the colors mean now. Alexa is listening, is in blue. Red means the microphone is off. Orange means your device is in setup mode. Purple means that your device is in a do not disturb mode. And yellow means you have a new notification. Green means you have an incoming call. So they did a color coordination here so you have a better understanding of what's going on. So the new Echo Dot here weighs 347 grams. The previous generation weighed 331. So in this case, we are gonna change our wake word. You could also do celebrity. So Ira Io currently owns Santa Claus, Shaquille O'Neal, and Samuel L. Jackson as well. Hey Shaq, what's the weather in New York City? Don't forget your sunscreen. Right now in New York, 
It's 60 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. What do you guys think about the Echo Dot 5th generation? I can tell you, the music quality is better. The music quality is definitely better, but not a lot better than the previous generation. I do like the temperature controls. I think that is more future-proofing because if you got an air purifier, a fan, or an AC or any other smart device that uses the temperature, well, instead of having to get the smart temperature sensor from Amazon, you could just get it inside of your Echo. And the ability to just touch it and not have to fumble through finding a button to, to uh, reset or turn off your alarm or snooze, that is absolutely awesome. Awesome in my opinion. But because it looks the same, because um, it loses the 3.5 millimeter jack, there's not a huge reason to upgrade if you already have the fourth generation. But if you come from the third or below that, I would say this is worth the upgrade just because it is really easy to use and every single day the Amazon Alexa app is getting better and better. So I don't want to trigger mine, but one more time. Amazon, tell me a joke. What happens when Dwayne Johnson and a pig give you a hug? You're stuck between the rock and a lard place. You want to hear a good one? Hey Shaq, tell me a joke. What do you call a fake macaroni noodle? An impasta. So I'll catch you next time. This is David with the French Glow signing off, showcasing to you my Echo Dot Fit Generation. Check it out. Bye guys. Bye, bye, bye.